guys, so I thought I'd pop on and share a wee little haul video. <laughs> um, I forgot I got these. <laughs> um, today, just a quick run. I hope there's not too much clear. It's super sunny outside. Um, so I apologise if there is a lot of light going on and the noise in the background. Camille's having a happy old time cutting out a cut file for me. So I apologise for that as well. But um, I thought I'd just pop on and show you what I got. Um, super quick. So I did a wee little haul online from Spotlight. I decided to try shopping online because um, my local one isn't so local anymore. So it's a bit of a trick to get there. Um, but yeah, so I went online to Spotlight and I purchased two of these Francheville storage boxes. They fit 12 by 12 papers and other bits and pieces really well. So I wanted some more kind of storage solutions for, I guess, collections. Like I've got all my stuff in collections, but there's things like Chamel or Pink Paisley that sometimes work really well together, um, but they're all in different packets. So I figured if I shove it all in one box, I'm more likely to want to combine the collections, if that makes sense, um, to hopefully use up in my stash. So I got two of them. Um, gosh, it's super bright. Hopefully not too bright. Um, I also got uh, 10 packs of these because I absolutely love them and every time I go into the, my shop, there's never any there. So I got 10 packs of these Crafters Choice Bling Stars in metallic gold. So, um, I mean, if I can get them online and it's easy, then that's cool. Um, I also bought Maggie Holmes Sunny Days 12 by 12 paper pad. I'm not a paper pad person. I very, very rarely buy paper pads. Um, but obviously it's an older collection, it's harder to get any of the single 12 by 12 pattern papers and I did buy not so long ago from Spotlight the chipboard and die cuts and stuff again uh, because I love the collection so much um, and Spotlight doesn't sell the single 12 by 12 pattern papers so I thought if I just kind of boost it all up with some of these pattern papers and there's no double ups, some of them are I'm sure the B sides so I'm, I'm quite happy to kind of deal with that and there's a couple of pages I can cut apart as well and add to the die cuts so um, yeah this is probably there's been no new releases that are kind of really summary that have caught my eye and I absolutely love this one so if I still love it now after I've used it so much I, it, I'm like it'd be a bit silly of me not to reinvest into more of it if that makes sense i'm not getting sick of it um i also got this one because i bought some of the die cuts um and i actually i thought that the papers that i had from people's collections would work um, a lot of them actually don't um so i decided to just why not buy the paper pad um and I mean, it's pretty, really pretty. There's some really nice kind of pattern papers that I can definitely use for backgrounds, some cut aparts. So, um, yeah, and I mean, that would be an awesome background. So, I think there is two of each. Yep, two of each. Um, whereas the um, Sunny Days ones here doesn't have double ups, there's 36 papers in it. Um, now from scrapbook.com, yes I did a little purchasing from scrapbook.com because um, like I said there's not a lot of new collections that I'm actually really loving and we've got, um, spoiler alert, a little cut bar release coming up, um, it's not little, it's actually quite big, but it does include some cut files that will go really really well with this collection which is the Pebbles, um, Big Top Dreams um, collection. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> and I've got some photos that I really wanted, like this kind of stuff, um, to help me document it. And so I could use the cut files as well. So, I mean, I would have used the cut files anyway. But, um, yeah. So, we'll go through the bits that don't go with that collection. I did get from Pink Fresh Studio, My Favourite Story, Enamel Dots. And I'm fairly certain I will probably, I apologise if this is really bright, buy another pack because um, they're just gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Um, I also got from my favourite story, Pink Fresh Studio, the white 
puffy alphas with the gold little detail on them. Like a really good kind of easy one to work in with any collection in my opinion. So there's a mix of lower and uppercase and no numbers which is awesome. So I got a pack of them. Might even be tempted to get another pack probably. Um, okay so from the Pebbles Big Top Dreams collection I got two of the die cuts. Uh, packs. There were two different ones. So this is just the Icon Ephemera. They've called it. There's some like kind of matte gold foiling and some of the bits. And they don't look like there's a ton of really huge pieces, which is really cool. Um, so there's 40 pieces in that. And hopefully you can see that. I really do apologise for the glare. Um, that's what's in that one. The second um, Ephemera pack is the Fraser Ephemera pack. So there's 40 pieces. And again in this one, not a huge lot of really, really big ones. There's a couple of big ones in this bottom one, but there's also a big stack of like phrases and stuff. Um, and that one's really chunky as well. So um quite happy about that. So that's what's in that pack. Have a good look. Um, I got the stickers. There's six sheets. So there's 287 stickers. And they're all with a white um, background or colour background um, so none of them are see-through which I absolutely love um, they're all totally usable in my opinion because they're not clear um, so there's a bunch of stickers and they're all little they're so tiny and cute I mean Pebbles got this collection right didn't they um, thanks and hooray multiple times maybe not happy day for sure um, and there's a couple of little speech bubbles there, which would be cool. Um, little icons, which are really fun. Repetitive hearts and, sh and stars. These are all gold balls, which definitely use. Happy birthday. I guess it's kind of a circus slash birthday collection. Um, so I don't know whether I'll use them, but that's okay. Um, but these are quite cool. Step right up. Maybe I might have to have Addy a circus themed birthday party and use some of them. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, I've actually had instructions that she wants a bunny cake for her birthday, so um, it definitely won't be a circus thing. Okay, I also got these foam fray stickers. They're called Circus, um, funnily enough. There's 155 pieces, and the stars, my goodness, there were so many gorgeous gold foiled stars. Um, lots of phrases. That's the back, dreams come true. Really kind of generic sounds, which is really cool. Amazing friend, fantastic, high five. I love those little splash bubbles, they're cool. Love that there's so many little gold foil stars on there. And they're just a white foam underneath. Uh, this is the 6x12 sticker sheet, so there's 60 stickers. Really fun, there was a couple of large pieces, if you can see that. But it's, I mean it's an elephant, I'd use that. <laughs> I love elephants. <laughs> um, yeah, there was quite a few big pieces in the stickers, but great for layering. Um, really cute. So on to the papers, I, if I had the option, if scrapbook.com had it, I would have got the 6x8 or 6x6 paper pad, but they didn't have it. So I doubled up on some of the papers that I um, liked and I thought I would utilise for cut files. So this one is called uh, Tightrope. So on the B side there's this kind of, I apologise, yellow one yellow star and a gorgeous rainbow stripe. So again, two of those. Uh, this one is called Big Top Dreams, so we've got some circus tents on a white base in the back, and then the back side is a red and white stripe. This one is called Best Day Ever, so we've got some, I'm assuming, 2 by 2 cut parts on one side, and then the B side is that yellow, um, with a white polka dot, and I thought I could definitely probably fussy cut out some of these pieces for use. This one is called Big Top Quotes. Um, I love a good print background. It's a great base. And then the front is this cut apart, uh, 3x6 cut apart sheet, which is always fun if you want to cut it apart. Uh, this one is called Amazing Show. So on the front, we've got this blue with all these icons. Probably wouldn't fussy cut it out, um, but it would be a good frame. Uh, for something, and then the back is this white with black moustaches. Uh, just one of these, this one's called Circus Fun, so we've got Circus and Fun on the front with white base. 
as a bright colours. You could definitely fussy cut out the circus and fun. I don't know if you'd want to do it a million times. And then the back is this dark blue with a like black pattern on it. Um, yeah. Two of these. So this one's called Big Top Dream. Um, it's not called Big Top Dreams. It's called Carousel. And it's gorgeous. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's got a gorgeous little white heart and then some sprays of colour. And then the back B side is a cute blue with all the little animal icons on it. That's super fun. Um, one of these is called Step Right Up. It's dark blue and some little like stars burst kind of things. And then red with an almost tone on tone background. And the brainy strips are really cute too. The little florals. And this one's got little hot dogs and ice creams and popcorn. Um, so I've got two of this one. This one's called Clowns. Very apt. <laughs> a bunch of clowns. You could definitely fussy cut them out if you wanted to. I probably won't. Um, but then the B sides is cool. Bright diamond print. And two of this one. This one's called Pinwheels. The very, very um, imaginative with their paper names. Um, and then the B is red with like a rainbow. Um polka dot <laughs> on it um, and then lastly no not lastly gosh it just keeps going um, I got two of these this one's called circus treats so we've got a tone on tone like red star and then on the front we've got like hot dogs and popcorn and ice creams and all that fun stuff and um, so two of them and then two of this pattern paper why not it's got flowers on it um, so it's called confetti so we've got dark blue with a bunch of cute little flowers and then the B side is like a red tone on tone print with a cute little birds and hearts and all that fun stuff. So um, that's my haul. Thanks for um, hanging in there. I hope it wasn't too bright. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.